Welcome to part two of our chapter seven preview. Now, if you've seen part one, you know we we're talking about exponents in this section. Today we're going to talk about scientific notation, and of course, scientific notation involves exponents. Before we do that, we're going to do a few quick shout-outs. This is another shout-out to Lauren Cardona. This is a shout-out to Eddie Morales. This is a shout-out to Shirley. Tell her I say A. And shout-out to Mr. Atkins' second period for the highest average. That's probably from someone in Mr. Atkins' second period. And this is a shout-out to, it says, hi, Logan. Uh, and this one is a shout-out to Julio from Hayden. And then it looks like one person gave out several shout-outs. Shout-out to Jordan. Do you have shoe game? Gee, I wonder who this could be. Shout-out to Carmel. You're a twig. I don't think you're a twig, Carmel, but this is the shout-out. Shout-out to Julio. Have better shooting for him. Shout-out to Justin. Bootleg clumsy bird. Justin, I don't think you're a bootleg clumsy bird. And shout-out to, oh my gosh, I'm shocked by this. Eddie, you're so cool, bro. P.S. Like your shoe game. So we won't, oh, it's by Anonymous, but we can take a guess of who that was. So that's our shout-outs. We'll read a few more later in this episode. All right, so when we're talking about scientific notation, think about things like OMG, BRB, LOL, and DYM. What are they? They're all abbreviations. And scientific notation is kind of like abbreviation. Wait, wait, what is that? What is DYM? Do your math. So, abbreviations uh, can be used for really big numbers, like if you were trying to talk about the height in centimeters of the Statue of Liberty, whoa, that's a really big number. Or really small numbers, like, I don't know, the length of this cytoplasm on this cell. It's a very, 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 very small number. So in order to kind of abbreviate like these, do your math, we're going to use something called scientific notation. It's a way of writing very big numbers or very small numbers. For example, we have a really big number here, 98,450,000. Uh, if I were going to write it in scientific notation, again, as a kind of way, way to abbreviate, uh, you got to kind of go through the rules. And the first rule is the decimal has to go between the first two non-zero digits coming from the left. So I see the first two digits are 9 and 8. So let's put a decimal between those. So it's going to be 9.8. And this number that you write here always has to be less than 10. It has to be, of course, uh, greater than 1, or greater than or equal to 1, because, again, it has to be between two non-zero digits, like 9 and 8. So I'm going to add the rest of my digits here, 4 and 5. And then as part of something that's just part of scientific notation, we write times 10, and the key on this is, what is our exponent going to be? The exponent is the number of decimal shifts we'd have to get to go from the decimal here. This is a decimal. Make it really big so you can tell. If we had to get the decimal between the 9 and the 8, but currently the decimal is here, right? If there's no, no, no decimal in our answer, we have to assume that it's at the end. So if I want to get the decimal between digits 9 and 8, I would have to shift this over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm counting a little off because this is small for my finger, and 7. Okay, so to get the digits from here to there, I would have to shift 7 decimal places. So that becomes my exponent. So we can write 998,450,000 as 9.845 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, this also works in reverse. 
if we have a number 4.65 times 10 to the 6th, we can write that in what's called standard form. If we start by writing the numbers, we see 4, 6, 5, and we're going to shift it over this many decimal places, whatever the exponent says. And since our exponent is a 6, we're going to shift the decimal places 6 spaces. Right now it's currently here between the 4 and the 6. We're going to shift it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 decimal places to the right. Now there's nothing here so we have to add in zeros. We'll add in zeros for all these decimal shifts we made. Now when we add our commas we can see the number that this was talking about is 4,650,000. Okay. Now if we have really really small numbers uh, we can write them in scientific notation as well. So what we do with this is we start all the way to the left, look for our first non-zero digit, no, 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 until we see five and six. So there we go. Decimal has to go between five and six. Carry the three. All right, so again, that's a decimal. Really hard to see. So now if I want to get the decimal between the five and the six, it's currently right here. I'm going to have to move it over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decimal spots. So this is 5.63 times 10 to the seventh, except you realize that this is a very, 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 very small number. So looking back on the last lesson, very, very small numbers are made not from positive exponents, those are very, very big numbers, but from negative exponents. So when you have a negative exponent, you get a really small number like this, and it is going to be less than zero. Okay. Notice it does not make the number negative. It makes the uh, number really, really small and the exponent negative. All right, so our last example will be the reverse of this, writing a number in scientific notation in standard form if it has a negative exponent. I'm going to start by, let me just give myself some space. We're going to do 2, 3, 7, and... I want to write this in to the negative seventh exponent, so that means we're going to shift the exponent, we're going to shift the decimal place backwards. We're going to shift it backwards seven places. So it's currently here. We're going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is going to look ugly when I add zeros, but let's add them in anyways. And then the decimal's right up front. You can add a zero in front of that just to hold a place value there. So there should be six zeros in front of our 237. That is equal to that answer. All right, so what's wrong with this? This is an example of scientific notation gone bad. Hmm. I'm not sure what's wrong with this. Now, I see this number. If I shift it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... That's the exponent here. Mm. So it looks like it's written right in scientific notation, right? Wrong. Here's why. Remember what we said? The decimal always has to go between the first two non-zero digits. Oh my gosh, the decimal's between the five and the six. Those are the second and the third non-zero digits. So what's wrong with this? Right here. Can't have 45.6 in scientific notation, so don't do it. FCAT does a lot of problems where they write it incorrectly on purpose. If I were to write that correctly in scientific notation, it would be 4.56 times 10 to the 7th power. So, when doing scientific notation, here are your rules. Decimals must go between the first two non-zero digits, then it's times 10, then the exponent of your 10, is the number of decimal shifts it takes to get from the current decimal spot to between the first two digits. All right, now you try. Here are some problems. Write them down, hit pause, and give them a try. Think about it before you just let me tell you the answers, because that doesn't help you at all. So, hit pause now. So, this is what you should have got. 
Notice that because there's a negative exponent, we're going to move this backwards. One, two, three, four, five spots to get this number right here. 0 0.0000456. This number right in scientific notation. 3.02 times 10 to the seventh power. And the last one, turn this into scientific notation. 7 goes between the first two non-zero digits right here. 7 and 0. Even though 0 is... is 7.0 is greater than 1 and less than 10, so it satisfies our scientific notation requirement. And we move the decimal over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places backwards. That's why we have an exponent of negative 5. All right, so here's our brain break learning check. Think about what we did. This will help you on the homework. So if you have any questions about scientific notation, go back, watch the video. We can look at our little kitty here, looks so terrified. And before we leave, I'm going to leave you with a few shout outs. And our first shout out is to Shirley. We have a shout out to Alyssa. Shout out to Danny. Oh, here we have a shout out to Dr. Identity. How creepy. And oh, it's anonymous again. Shout out to Moody and Donovan. BFF. There's another example of abbreviation, just like scientific notation. Keep chilling like a villain. And we also have one more shout out here to Eddie. Yo, home dog from the other Eddie. This Eddie is the girl Eddie. So that's our episode for today. Uh, come back for part three. Help us with the rest of chapter seven. Bye bye.